Been a decent leg from, uh, from Van der Berg in the main, but let's have a look at 145. For the opener, probably go that have to stay there, have to stay there because the line was so good. However, it might not be good enough. As Lindner takes the opener against the darts. It all started so well to Van der Berg and. Vandenberg could have won it, couldn't he? In the decider, a couple of match darts. Yeah, could have gone either way that game. <laughs> Littler chasing for so much of it and then did get his nose in front towards the end. Could have won it 7 5, in the end had to win it 7 6, but as you say, surviving a couple of match darts in the process. Very little between them. It's not a chasm between these two here. Because that's an 11 darter. You asked Dimitri to pick it up, that's exactly what he's done in that leg. It's just one break of throw down. But his first max of the night. Now then, Luke Littler. Being asked some questions. To which it appears he has some answers. That was a feature, one of many features of his remarkable rise and the story of, of Luke Lettler at the World Championship. But every time his opponent, or quite often his opponent, will hit a big score, he'd just get up there and do that, do it again. What a leg of darts this is. Oh, what a leg. Dimitri Vandenberg is on a 10 darter and might not even get a chance. Double 15. Oh, it is magnificent. Hitting more than they're missing. Spectacular leg of darts. Well, it's a poor last one, but all these bounce outs for, for Luke Littler, that's three or four he's had. May come home to roost, we shall see. Van der Berg scrambling. But he's missed. Oh, well, that was sloppy. That was careless and sloppy. He was frustrated and it may cost him the leg. And that was bizarre in the extreme from Luke Littler, who's normally, normally pretty cool. But he wasn't there, he was angry. And he could be about to be pegged back here. One dart at tops for a level game and a break. Yeah. This is superb yeah. for yeah. Dimitri yeah. Vandenberg. Yeah. A 15 yeah. darter. It's the worst yeah. leg of darts we've had for a few legs, and yet it might be the yeah. most important because Dimitri has broken Littler. And in the matter of 30 seconds, it's advantage Luke Littler once more. Break here, and then he throws for it. 71. Still got to get that winning game. double. Not missed one yet. Double top again. He has missed one. But he does not miss double ten. Littler will throw for the match. Well, has he managed? to fight off an inspired Vandenberg. Two, two treble visits. Five score. Well, this is a man who could not miss for a spell in the middle of this game, and he has just scored five with three darts. And it's going to be curtains from here. Because that's enough to leave Littler on a two-darter for yet another four-visit leg. Both had an 11 data, both had a 12 data. Topsy needs. Yeah! Luke Littler produced 
Jesus. Another sensational performance to take out Dimitri van der Berg. For three legs, van der Berg was magnificent. Littler was frustrated for a time. But he regrouped and he came back and he won it with an 11 data and an average of 103. But these can go. Oh, especially after that. Double 16. 130. You can tell by the reaction when he released that dart. He knew it was well thrown. And it's only a dart the ball. And again, it's a 25. He's had a dart of ball for a 170 combination in leg one. Ball on an 81 combination in leg two. Is he about to find himself two down? Yeah, he so does. Seven. Last start, right in the corner. Humphreys finds a break of throw and gets early control yeah. from our second quarter final. Yeah. Find himself 3 0 up here. Halfway to a clash with Luke Littler. Looks a good guide. Chance for Michael Smith. 76. Oh no, problem. Solution, double 16. Yeah. Oh, finds it. Michael Smith. That wasn't the route he was aiming to go. But more and more of a concern with our crowd of the calendar, as we've seen Nathan Aspinall, a guy who's struggled with injury problems himself. 137. Yeah, it's always an issue. Nathan Aspinall. Finalist here last year. He's in control of that final as well. He's having a well earned break. Yeah. Speaking of breaks, there's another one. Michael Smith, credit to him. Will have been so disappointed in the manner he lost the last leg. But straight away breaks back and lucky to turn a 3 1 deficit into a 4 3 lead. Bemused by that miss. Expected a treble 19. Tidies up. So for Michael Smith to leave this game for the first time. Double four. Double two. Six. At times and doing his good work. There's so much to like about this performance from Michael Smith, but he could yeah. find himself 4-3 down, and he is. We'll definitely feel he should be in front. But this could be a leg where Smith is shut out entirely. And you expect you're going to be in that position against the number one in the world. Good leg from Humphreys, though. Desperate for a World Series win. And he is one away from the semi finals. Never made a final. Guarantees he will at least throw for a place in the semi finals. And... Yeah, it's a curious situation where Luke Little will be sat in the practice room right now. And he may prefer the idea of having to go at Luke Humphreys because he's got a better record against the world number one, the man who's won all these major titles, than he does against Michael Smith. Back to back 180s. How's the layup here from Michael Smith? 57. And that's the bare minimum, really. Off 187. Heel feel. Look at this from Humphreys. 105. Michael Irigua, 105. That's a dash for the finishing line by Luke Humphreys. And Smith stop him. He's made life difficult for himself there. Too difficult in the end. Humphreys should get a match start. He may get a couple. If he does get a couple at double eight, he's been good on that double in this game. It'll have to be double top for a 6 4 win. And the world number one is through to the semi finals. He sees off Michael Smith 6 4. Smith looked the better player for so much of it. But then Humphreys dipped for the line and sets up a semi final with Luke the Nuke Lettler. It hasn't helped him this leg. Right with a great chance here. Travel yeah. 13, the shot. Double 16, the shot. Brilliant. Oh, a 1 3 1 kick out. Has there been a high kick out to net this weekend? That was very impressive. 13 data, 12 data. And looking good here. Peter Wright averaging 110.
at the moment, Peter Wright. Easy. Well, we, we, we just say with confidence in the car on the way to the venue. Looks like he had good reason to be. Very good reason to be. Very, very good reason to be. Peter Wright on the mind in New Zealand. Yes. Trouble 19. The lead double crawl for Peter Wright. 17. There. What a shame, what a shame, Glenn, because it, it looks for all the world. Well, it's just a, a matter of popping it into that double 12. Well, that was 11 perfect darts in a row, going back to the yep. checkout in the previous round. And he deserves that, Peter Wright. Peter Wright. Just brilliant. His winning legs have been 13, 12, 12, and now 11. Astonishing. 108 average this from Peter Wright. At the moment, doesn't look like being his weekend here in Hamilton. And Peter Wright pushes his average up to exactly 109. What a performance! Got to be a good guy, got to be. Wow, how on earth, how on earth did he, did he miss those? And how on earth is Gerwin Price still in this? Unbelievable, he can't believe it. That's a smile of irony, yes, if ever did. I saw one. He's averaging 82, and Peter Wright should be out of here. Missed starts to go 4-1 up, and just missed starts to go 5-2 up. This is chance. Well, astonishingly, getting with Price could be about to go level, unless... 110 coming in. Double 16. 17. Going to require 76. Well, this could be remarkable. Averaging 84. 36. Well, that's a chance that he's missed. Do you require 32? The strange old quarter final. Big dart. Wow. Big, big dart from Peter Wright. Now oh, he's like that stain on your white shirt that you can't get rid of. Hey, Stuart. 114 from Peter Wright. No finish though. 14. Checking what he needed. What he needed. And still in it. Take it the and first. he's making sure that everybody knows it. Oh. 96. Oh, 
setting that up superbly. Minimum two troubles needed here. AC1. Going to require 88. He needs the ball. 43. Wow. Going to require 127. One, two, seven for a place in the semi-final. He needs the ball to win. Oh, oh yes! yes! Oh, yes! Right. Been alive. And you've got to say, he deserves it. Get him with Price. Nearly picks the deciding leg there, but you've got to say, Peter Wright deserves to be the winner. There's the break opportunity for Damon. We'll talk about timing in this sport. Damon requires 74. This would put him halfway to the semis. Exactly. Good moment in the match here. Game shot the full play. Again, a very neat and tidy leg. Back to back 15 darters and some breeding space for Damon Hatter. Three from four on the doubles. Robbie require 153. Tricky finish, but it doesn't need to go. I'm just about to say, you need to find one treble. Wow. 17 balls. Stay in the 20 segment and you go in single to double. You're disappointed with that last start. Exactly. On that, could prove costly. 31. That last start from Rob, he should be looking at a 20 for tops combination here instead. Well, he kind of rescues it here. Needs the double 11. Ah, brilliant. Classy from Crossy. As he gets the break back. Good finishing stats of both, particularly Damon. Throughout the tournament. And switch. That's the dart. Oh, there he is, Ben Rob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the three darts at double eight did cost him yesterday, but good seam in the crowd. Could have been all different. Could have led Gedwin Price. He could have been in the quarter final lineup. Good to see him about and having a laugh with himself, really, there. Yeah. yeah. Sense of humor is lovely. He's a good friend of Damon Hatter as well. Oh, what a finish with Damon Hetter. After seeing the last two legs slip from his grasp and a bit of sportsmanship there. But two legs away, Damon, from completing our semi final lineup. Two decent back-to-back -back visits has got Rob right back in this leg, and Damon's feeling it here. For this, sir, the visit without a big treble. Rob, you require 146. He's been brilliant on the treble 19s in this match. Yeah, you're right, Glenn. That's a good. Ah, you'd be this just because of the the guide. So much room in the treble 19 bed. That's my commentator's curse moment for the day. You're right, though, he's been covering well. And Hetter's had a ton plus finish already. And gets another one. And that was a leg that threatened to slip from his grasp. He was in control. And it looked like Cross was going to nick it. But another ton plus finish to back up the 1 2 1. And Hetter finds himself one leg away from the semis. Well, that means Cross needs to do exactly what he did in round one here. And build from there. Looks like he could go places. 
The dedication's there, isn't it? It hasn't gone to plan on the tour. There's still plenty of events left to play. He's only one year into his two-year tour card. It's a bit of up here by Cross. It's looking like more last leg drama involving Rob Cross. Yeah, I was going to say, he should be quite comfortable with that switch. He uses double 18 a lot, and he just allowed himself a little pause. But he gets the double nine. We go all the way again in a match featuring Rob Cross. He's got breathing space here, too, Mac, hasn't he? He's got. No. That, 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 that's fine. I was just about to say, he doesn't want to get too clever with the, with the set of play, but he leaves a double and he's barely been missing. Rob Cross has got to hope that he starts missing, but he's got to apply some pressure in the meantime. And it's looking like Damon Hetter is going to complete our semi final lineup. Replace in the last four. And the doubles have been unbelievable for Damon Hetter, not just in this match, but in this tournament. Six from seven in the match, 12 from 15 in the tournament. He completes the semi-final lineup. It's Luke B. Luke into the first semi. Damon Hetter will face Peter Wright. He's beaten Rob Cross by six legs to five. It's a chance for the Luke world champ. To take the opener, but a shake of the head tells you he made a mess of it. What about Luke Littler? Bull. 63. Double top for a break. Good marker, you think? Yeah. Made use of adeptly. 17 darts are good enough to put him 1 0 up. It's first to seven in the semi finals. So. Double top. Double 10. 72. I still like the aggressive way that he goes for it. Treble 14 and tops. It could be the spot of bother here. Oh, Great effort 90. by Humphreys. Most people on 82 go for the ball. Yeah, well done, rescued it in the end. What yeah. all? Amazing, isn't it? Luke Littler, here we are. Yeah, well, we were here in Hamilton 12 months ago. 76. Calling Rob Cross winning it. Who would have believed that Luke Littler would be here? Six. It's that old advert, Six. isn't it? The old TV advert. Hang on. Hang on. Just pause yeah. there as Luke Littler smashes in a 1 4 2. Go into the mid-game break level. Can he find his way through to that treble 20? Not on this occasion. One. This would sting. Yeah, can't get it going. Six. Got a six. Think difficult for himself. He's missed 10 darts at double, Luke Humphreys. This could be a huge moment. It is, it's a massive moment. With a shake of head, really, from Luke Lindley. He can't believe he's won that leg. Down to 170. Oh, another. Would have left double 10. If it doesn't go, he may not get another chance. So it might have to go. And he can't follow it in there. He was he was unlucky there. Kiss off the barrel, taking it out of the treble into the into the single. Yeah, but Luke Lickler has been ruthless. Ruthless on top, so it's 5-2 and he's two away. We've seen him do this on a couple of occasions in big games. The showpiece. He's missed 
is tops. What's going on? Oh, problem. 16 and ball. And he's drifted into the eight segment. Cannot finish the shot from there. 38. Little and three clear darts at double ten for 6 2. Got to get to seven, but this looks uh, done and dusted. Uh, 128. Trouble 20. Leaves the bullseye. It could be the last dart he throws down under Luke Humphreys. Is it a third top plus finish to wrap it all up? 67. Luke required 25. Match dart missed. Humphreys to get a leg back. Against the darts. Yeah, He's still in this one. Got a little smile on his face, almost resigned to his fate, he seems. However, a hold of throw here. 6 4 doesn't look as daunting. Oh, one treble. Would have got him three clear match darts, but he should be getting at least one from here. Hang about. This could change things. That has put all kinds of pressure on the 17-year-old. Is he up to the task on this occasion? Ooh, nine. Only leaves 67. He's going to have to be 17 and ball. Bullseye it is. And he does not get it. And it's a flashy way to go. Travel 12 for double top. Single, he would perhaps only get a dart at ball anyway. Strange behaviour from Luke Littler with a match on the line. Yeah. And he is punished, and all of a sudden we are back on throw. Humphreys has the darts, and he's looking to force a last leg decider. We know he does flashy things. We know he makes decisions on the dartboard that other players wouldn't, because that's how he plays the game. But sometimes it gives you less of a chance of winning the leg. Well, it's hardly believable. 56. Well, it isn't believable. But it looks like we're going to get a deciding leg. It was so one-sided, absolutely dominant by Luke Littler. And he has missed two darts already to win the match. But he's going to have to serve it out. 36, For six apiece. And 13 data for cool hand Luke Humphreys. The last four legs have been won by the world number one. All in 15 darts or fewer. He has survived match darts already. Oh, two big darts there from Littler. The, the, the key for Luke Littler at the moment is that his first dart is dropping below the treble 20 bed. Humphreys has now hit maximums in the last three legs. Sizzling finish. Littler is first to a finish. Humphreys will get to a better one. 76 left for the world champ. Will he get a go at it? Starting on the 18s. Needs the treble. Does not get it. Well, this will be astonishing. 6-2 down. And Luke Humphreys has turned it round with an incredible performance. Luke Littler looks absolutely shell-shocked. I think we all are. Well, despite the maximum for Peter Wright, Damon Hett has hit back with one of his own, and he's back in control of the leg. It's not brilliant, but with the way he's finished so far in this tournament, 72 won't hold any fears for him. It's going to be a little bit of pressure. Options may use the ball. 85. I mean, it requires 72. Oh, magic. Not sure there was any. Nice and high up towards the double top. That leaves double 16, and he's been deadly on this. He cannot miss it. This is astonishing from Damon Hetter. Damon Hetter, one of them, of course. Obviously, he's here as one of the PDC stars, but in Australia and New Zealand, who's to say he wouldn't be taken to all the other World Series events next year, particularly 
if he were to go and take the title here tonight, and who knows what else he might do over the course of the next three months or so. Inside the world's top ten now, Damon Hetter. Penny requires 64. I don't think there's massive amount of surprise me. The perks have been steady for Damon Hetter. Damon requires 76. Now, a 3-1. Beautiful dart leaves double eight. Game shot in the fourth leg. There's a sense of inevitability Damon with Damon in Hetter first. on the doubles, particularly in that bottom left section of the ball. Yeah, goes to the bullseye anyway. Makes sense, gets down to a finish that should get him a dart at the outer ring if he's allowed back. It's for a 12 dart, though. Got another chance to find a treble, which he hasn't taken. Good last one. This is a big passage of play in coming and here. Hetter. There's not going to be a clear path to this top regardless. There we see. Bolton. And this and Peter big required. opportunity Bolton. for some clear daylight in this semi. And to cross the halfway mark. Yeah, great stuff from Peter Wright, 13 data. And it's less the one dart missed at tops from Damon Hetter that will annoy him. Win this match, it'll be an 11th year running. He's made a big stage final in PDC darts. Not going to take the 1 6 1. Hetter's already completed a 1 3 2 checkout in this tournament. But that was against Simon Whitlock. And Whitlock wasn't on a finish, so he went treble 20, treble 20, double six. This, he'll start on the ball. Can he find his way through if he gets to trouble 19? It seemed like it kicked right and covered a little bit 16. of the ball, but he didn't find the trouble 19, so... Peter Wright, got a good response to going 3-1 down. He gets rid of this 68. 15, you'd think. Uh, under the circumstance, we've, we spoke about this earlier, Dan, there's been some strange decisions in matches tonight, Damien hasn't there? Yeah, you could say it was brave, you could say it was foolish. Damon Hetter, big 20, leaves double 16. And of Game course he pins it. Leg. It Damon may Hetter. not be quite as clinical as he has been all tournament, but it is still world class from the heat. The Aussie number one. And the bonus about leaving 165 is that you can play in the 19s, couple of trebles, you're on 32. Which is exactly how it's panned out. Very nice from right. Bullseye from here is not a bad shot either. 25 leaves him a two data. For a level game. Can't even decide how to approach it. 16. Damon, you require 72. Took this out to go 4 2 up. And he repeat the trick. And he is back hitting that double. First time of asking again. He has still only missed Damon, eight Damon, darts Damon, at double Damon, in the Robert. tournament. And look at those checkouts, Damon. a trio of 72. And that is the sound of Peter Wright barreling through that half-open door. Another mid-range finish for the Heat. Nice call ball pressure created by right then. He was in control of this leg, Damon Hetter, and in control of this match, and it is still Damon Hetter's game to lose from here, but his grip on it is not quite as firm as it was a few seconds ago.
They've both racked up a fair few in this tournament. What a dart. How has he not got closer to following? Peter Wright, you may remember earlier tonight, was looking at 1-4-1. Missed the double 12, it would have completed a nine darter. This, arguably more important. But it's not going to go. Give me those three darts against his Peter Wright. I'm in the required 58. Another break coming up then. Game shot, well, this... Put Damon Hetter on the hill. And that's not happening. Damon Hetter. 96. This. Set it up. Take it out. Look forward to a final with the world champion and world number one. Is that number 76 again? Well, he's been making 72 disappear regularly. He's had a 76 checkout already. Can he produce another one? Double top for the match. And Australia's number one is through to the final in New Zealand. The New Zealand Arts Masters will have a new winner this year. Well, this will bring the curtain down on the World Series Tour events. We've got the World Series Finals to come, of course, in Amsterdam in a few weeks' time. And the regional players in Australia and New Zealand may have drawn a blank over the last fortnight, but Damon Hetter, the tour card holder, the Aussie number one, is showing them how to get the job done. Can he get this job done? Oh, he's hit the double 16 by accident, so next door for double eight yeah. is found. And the man who is hitting doubles ridiculously regularly in this tournament starts with a double-double finish that he didn't even intend. One of the most left-field ones when he won in Brisbane five years ago. It would not be as left-field for him to win tonight, bearing in mind he is the world number nine. But it would be a second one. Take somebody like James Wade or Raymond Van Barneville, they play... Nearly 70 of these between them, never won one. The ball. 86. He's missed. Luke Uruguay, 86. So it's a lovely enough, 86. Oh, well done. Side of the world champ under pressure. And it is one all. To winning tournaments. To World Cup winner. Another crack at the 1 2 1. And another crack at the bullseye. Well, Luke Humphreys has hit a tough plus finish in this tournament so far. Can he hear? Oh, right in the middle of the red bit. And that could be a crucial hit from Luke Comfrey to what a time to nail your first Tom Plus finish. Will be a big holder throw. Well, he's finishing. I've just deserted him a little bit, but it's mattered most in this final. Hatto was looking at the floor, but he'll know. He's now looking at a very steep mountain. Lost a bit of that spark, hasn't it? 34. Well, three legs he's lost where he's had darts to win him. And granted, a couple of them, it's just a bullseye at the end of a combination, but 
The one that really hurts, missing double 18 and double 9 in that last leg to be broken again. This for 5 1. 9 off, so 18 for double top. 27. Raven Uriquois, 157. Both have really needed a big one in the World Series. It's now. Five, one. And he might be right back now that Damon Hetta cannot help but think back to last year when he got to the final in Wollongong and was turned over 8 1. He trails 5 1 here. Frustrating thing for Hetta is that he knows he's played well all weekend. Amazing. His opponents are just playing that bit better. It's third maximum. One hundred. Ricky McGuire, eighty-six. Yep. A little nod, confirmation. Yeah. Good leg, twelve darts from the world champ, and he's two away from a maiden World Series crown. He's just a clip too good, isn't he, at the moment for hitter. Must hold here. In the race here, two eight. Well, hopefully, there could give himself a great chance. Ninety-seven. Oh, Raymond one hundred and six. You feel he needs this. So Luke Humphreys. If he gets this, it's match point because he'll be throwing for the match in the next one. Yeah. And he does get it. Well, one of that, the real highlights of this event has been Damon Hatter's finishing right up until this final. But it's the finishing of Luke Comfrey's seven out of 12 that's been stunning. Um, looking every bit of winner in New Zealand. Jump from Still embers, but barely in the heat. 86. Well, Luke Humphreys has beaten Michael Smith tonight. He's beaten Luke Littler with an amazing comeback. He's on the verge here of the World Series triumph. But he misses two match darts. Trouble 17 has got to be the shot. So back comes 42. the world Luke champion. The world number one. And yeah, now, a oh, World oh, Series oh, winner oh, for the very oh, first oh, time. Oh, Luke oh, Humphrey oh, dominates oh, in the oh, final. Oh, and he beats David Hatter.